Mount Carmel High School teacher accused of having a sexual relationship with a student answered to charges. 40-year-old Stacy Michelle Walker was arrested Wednesday. ABC 10 News reporter Natalie Chuck was in the courtroom when the teacher denied all allegations. Natalie? Right, Kimberly. Well, today we learned the San Diego District Attorney's Office claims that this relationship with the victim lasted for about three years. Now this teacher is facing 16 charges, all of which she pled not guilty to. And now we weren't the only people sitting in this courthouse earlier today waiting to see Walker. So was one of her former students who says he needed to see it for himself. Ms. Walker, on your behalf, I'm going to enter a plea of not guilty. She's the last kind of person I would have expected to do this. Isaiah Jones found it hard to believe his former theater teacher is behind bars. 40-year-old Stacy Michelle Walker is accused of sexually assaulting one of her female students at Mount Carmel High School for years. Prosecutors claim it all started in 2017 when the student was 15 years old and lasted until 2020. The victim reported it to police just last year. Jones says Walker wanted students to call her by her first name and treated them more like friends. I mean, I liked the more friendly atmosphere, but now I'm worried like what was that potentially leading to? They trick you into thinking that you're in a consenting adult relationship when you're still a child and they're preying upon you. Faith Colson is speaking from personal experience. She says she was sexually assaulted by a teacher when she was in high school. It wasn't until she was an adult with her own kids that she realized she was groomed and assaulted, eventually reporting it to police. Now Colson is an advocate for stopping educator sexual abuse and misconduct. The damage has been done whether someone reports it when it's happening or or years later. So that's that's why justice still needs to be served. On top of engaging in sex acts, San Diego police say Walker and the victim exchanged photos, videos, and explicit text. There are unfortunately so many more ways for for this to happen now. And so administrators need to be on the ball, but but so do parents. And the judge did agree to reduce Walker's bail today under a few conditions, one of them being she is not allowed to contact the victim. If you have any more information about this case, you are encouraged to contact San Diego police. We have that information for you under this story on 10news.com. For now, reporting from the San Diego Central Courthouse, Natalie Chuck, ABC 10 News.